I think passing and decision making is probably the most difficult skill that you can work on in your training. Most times when we see a good passer, it's frankly just because they grew up playing a lot of basketball. So they've gotten a lot of decision making experience, but you can work on this. I promise you guys. And although it's best to have a group to work with here, you can also make strides even when you're by yourself. So I'm going to break down how you can become a better decision maker, better passer and completely change your game as a court general. So the first way that you can do this is breaking down and understanding patterns in the game. This is something you can do even without being on the court. This could be raw film, right? So just feeding your brain basketball. This could be targeted breakdowns, whether it's an attention to detail, whatever. But it's just understanding the patterns that go into basketball. Basketball is a crazy game, but there are certain patterns that happen over and over again. So for example, when you're driving downhill, noticing what happens when that one pass away defender steps in and you have to make that decision to either kick it out or keep going maybe they don't step in but that help side defender steps in then you have to understand what pattern unfolds here maybe in transition and one on two situations understanding what is usually going to happen seeing what options are best when you have a trail man seeing how often and the timing that your teammates sprint to the corner and then of course pick and roll right when to find the big when to hit that weak side corner and then when not to pass it. I think this is big as well. So if you're constantly watching basketball, even subconsciously you're picking up on things. And if you can do this where you're breaking down that film and noticing the patterns, even better. Number two is training the deliveries, okay? And you can do this either by yourself or with one partner. You don't need a whole group for this. And I think this one is so often forgotten. We usually train just the standard bounce pass or chest pass, right? But most passes realistically look a little bit more like this, whether it's a hook pass, whether it's a dump off pass, it's a little bit tougher to make. Whether you're releasing it from different points, above one shoulder, from the hip. Whether you're jumping up in the air and making passes here. I think we underestimate how often we make tough passes and deliver these tough passes. And these are definitely worth working on, being accurate in these and feeling comfortable making and delivering these passes. Number three is live training and small sided games. In an ideal world, this is the bulk of your training because you're getting reps and reps and reps making these decisions. Because when we're watching film, we're training our slow thinking brain, if that makes sense. So there are patterns that we can actually think about, we can process them. But when we get into a game, every basketball player in the world knows that we can't use that slow thinking brain, right? It's gotta be a quick reflex. We gotta see these passes in a couple milliseconds and make them a couple milliseconds later. So training that slow thinking brain isn't a bad place to start, but eventually we've gotta start training these decisions in that first person point of view. Training the fast thinking, those split second decisions. So how you do this is just isolating decisions, right? Let's say you wanna work on a pick and roll situation. Well, you set up a pick and roll situation with you and a smaller group of people. Maybe it's two on three, maybe it's three on three. However you wanna do it, you're just isolating these decisions and playing out of them. This could be driving downhill, making the decision whether you kick it to the corner or finish, but being able to isolate these decisions and make them over and over again gives you the repetition you need to learn how to see these when you do play five on five. And that five on five is the next step, of course. This is just an extension of the last one because playing pickup games, getting game experience is huge because now you understand how to operate in the dynamic of a full game. You're able to start understanding how an entire defense works with rotations, with more clutter in the paint. You understand how to play mind games, right? How to set up these patterns. This is really where you're gonna go from being a good decision maker to being a court general, where you understand how to work with an entire team against an entire defense. So my advice here, get out, play pickup games, and try to put yourself in the position to find these patterns and make these passes. And then lastly is training just to get downhill better. This sounds crazy because it doesn't actually involve passing, but I promise you it's worth it. If you're able to get past your defender better, if you're able to maybe use pump fakes or crafty moves to get into the paint. This is gonna collapse the entire defense. When the entire defense collapses, you have way more kickout passes. You have way more opportunities to make good decisions. So if you're able to train to be a better mover, to be a better ball handler, to attack closeouts better, and you get into the teeth of the defense more, this is gonna open up so much more for you as a decision maker as well. So hopefully all of this made sense for you. I'm excited to see where you guys get in your training as a decision maker or court general. If you need any help from me, please feel free to reach out. I'm always here to answer questions. Also make sure to join our Discord, link in the description. Follow the Instagram, stay tuned with everything that we have going on. As always, much love, I'll see you next time.